Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Sportsman's News Television. On this episode, we got something a little bit different and special for you because when we travel and we do a lot of our feature cover stories, pro membership sweepstakes trips, these are truly bucket list hunts and fishing trips that we've done over the years. And this is where you, the winners of these trips, you get to hunt and fish like the pros. And what that means is that we've spent top dollar for things that are truly these bucket list trips and you get a chance to go be basically the television show host and enjoy an experience that most would normally never get to do. So that's awesome, but in all of this trips and stuff that we do, we do occasionally come across a needle in a haystack. And that happens to be the case with Island Point Lodge. And what they are is they're a fishing destination in Petersburg, Alaska. Petersburg, Alaska is Southeast Alaska. It's a great little fishing village. The only way you can get there is by boat or by plane. And these guys have put together and built a hatchery that is there that is totally targeted for sport fishing. So that's not normally the case. Most of the hatcheries of sustainability are driven by the commercial fishing guys. And to, in my opinion, this is very bad because they control all the rules and the regulations and everything else. Well, this hatchery was put to drive the economy for Petersburg, Alaska. For people who want to go to Alaska and fish, but don't have the money to go to some of these really high-end lodges, and I'm talking about a place where you're going to have fishing where 20 and 30 kings a day is not uncommon. Now, the thing you do have to bring to the table is you have got to understand how to fish. You've got to already be a fisherman yourself when you get there. If you're going there without fishing experience, probably not the destination for you. But for those of you that already know how to fish and Alaska is a destination you want to go to, Island Point Lodge could very well be it. On this trip, we've got Kent Danjanovich as well as Brooke Hansen, and those guys are good, accomplished fishermen. They're going up to check it out. Check out what this place has to offer. Fellow pro staffer Brooks Hansen and myself, Ken Danjanovich, are here in uh, southeast Alaska this week with Island Point Lodge. A little bit different type of an operation than we're used to working with. They're a uh, basically a do it yourself. And so you come here, uh, lodging, transportation on the island, food, everything's included, but it's unguided. So Brooks could be a little bit different this week, isn't it? Yeah, a little different. From what we've been told, you get a boat and you can rent some gear from them and then you kind of get an idea they kind of get some gps coordinates on where to find halibut and tell you where to go on the rivers to, to fish for salmon and kind of give you some pointers and uh, we'll see what happens Throwing spinners most of the afternoon in the uh, blind slough at the mouth, and uh, uh, these guys hooked up with uh, four or five fish, and now we're uh, doing a little bit of trolling at uh, pretty basically low tide now, the afternoon low tide. Using cut herring, with a banana weight, and a flasher on there, and uh, hooked up a pretty good fish feels like. Island Point Lodge in Alaska. One of the beauties about coming to this lodge 
because you can catch four kings a day. You get two over 28, two under 28. It's one of the rare places you can do that in Southeast Alaska. The purpose of this hatchery is to generate money for Petersburg. Okay, for sports fishing, but King, the King Salmon tournaments, the, the Silver the Surf tournaments, and so it, it's and it's for sports fishing. It's not for commercial fishing. Now, commercial fishermen can catch these way out in the channels, but it's not for commercial fishing. It's for sports fishing. Wow. So uh, the return out of 700,000 kings is um, about one one and a half percent. So when they're eight inch smolts, they go out, and something bigger than them eats them. And, and then something bigger than them yeah. eats them and when they come the, back. You know the, the problem, problem we're having with the kings across Alaska. It's either one or none, and it's uh, it's closed right now in most locations, and it's going to put a lot of small businesses uh, out of business. So the hatchery has a purpose for Petersburg and for sportsmen around here, and it's I think it's fascinating. They take 300 males, 300 females, and that's all they need, and they shut the ladder off. Okay, so the rest of them have to go down here and they're just helpless. They know they're supposed to come here, but they can't get back home. And if, if you know, he says, we don't have any more room for bigger hatchery. Do they spawn, spawn naturally in the river there or no? No. Southeast Alaska, Island Point Lodge, where you can keep four kings a day. This is my first one. We're gonna call this one over 28. I can get one more over 28, hopefully two more under 28. But nice fish. <laughs> First one. Did you want? Oh, this has got to be huge, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. There's something on there. That's cool. <laughs> hey, this is my first ever, ever. Nice. Oh, you want to move him into the bed? Come on, you're gonna drag him right on the shore. Oh, baby. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm going to end up on the ground. Keep going. Patrick socks. <laughs> you got to get him into the shore. Okay. Man, that's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Holy moly. Oh, my first fish. Woohoo! Mm. how tall that fish is. That's where they start getting their weight when they get uh, taller in stature. That's a great fish. It's worth every second. When you can get in, to the fish like we did this morning. And there's about a 45 minute span 
where every single cast you'd have a takedown on a bobber. And it was just really hot and heavy and landed lots of fish. We got our fish, go back get them processed and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. There's our fish for the day. I can't even hold them up. Woo! What a day on the Blaine Slough. Truly a great destination. I don't think there's anything to argue about that. You know, whether you're doing it with a fly rod, spinning rod, you know, you want to go troll a little bit, you want to go to the slough, anything you want to do right here, just a great place to stack some fish boxes. Being able to keep two kings over 28 and two under 28 is pretty phenomenal. I've done trips to the Kenai where you're wall to wall people and you're just not catching that number of fish. So this is truly a unique and great destination and definitely affordable. Hey, thanks for joining us on this episode of Sportsman's News Television. We'll see you next time.